welcome back everybody to another YouTube video on my second YouTube channel, Just Jody. I would really like to rebrand this channel. I actually hate the name Just Jody. I just couldn't get the URL of um, like Just Jody. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't couldn't get the YouTube.com slash Jody. Apparently it's too short. So now I got the YouTube.com slash Just Jody. But either way, I hate it. That's fine. That's for that's you know thing for another day. I am sorry I have neglected you. I think I've just been really focusing on my main channel and also just IRL stuff, doing my doing my other stuff. There's actually been a lot of cool behind the scene things that I'm working on that you will soon find out. And I think you will understand why it has been so hard for me to, to you know, upload on the channel. Also, these fringe bangs fucking suck. If you think about getting them, if you think about getting some fringe bangs, don't. This is your sign. But yes, welcome back to another video is what, I didn't really do my intro. I meant to say, okay, we're doing my makeup today. Okay, first thing I do in my makeup, not tutorial, in my makeup routine. Before, I used to use this. Um, it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Still love it, it's just that this color is 150 and I think it's a little too dark for me, especially because Fenty Beauty foundations are known to oxidize. So I recently just am trying out some samples of colors. I have 170 and 140 here. I think the 140 is a little too yellow. I think this is more neutral warm. So I'm gonna do 170 today. I did, I've did. i been wearing 170 I think yesterday and the day before, and I, I don't know. Honestly, it's hard for me to find a foundation that perfectly matches. I wanna give myself some color. You know? I think that this, it matches enough. I think it needs to be a little more Maybe we mix them. Okay, I'm gonna just try the 140 over it. Okay, yeah, I feel like this one alone would be too light. But maybe together they create the perfect shape. Hmm. Okay, on camera this looks incredibly yellow, but I don't think it looks that yellow in person. Honestly, sometimes I don't even worry too much about what my makeup looks like because you don't see it in real life often. A lot of the times I'm getting ready just to work, which is just a stream, and the camera doesn't really pick up on too much, I guess. I'm not too worried about it, but I would like to find my perfect shade. Eventually, that would be great. Yeah, see, I don't, it's a little yellow. I'm gonna replace my battery. Hold. Please, one sec, okay. Next step, I go in with this um, concealer that I got and have been loving. Uh, I, I think I've been using this for the, probably like the last six months and I'm sold. I'm probably never using another concealer, I love it. It is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Vanilla. Sorry, that didn't focus, but whatever. Um, in terms of concealer, my under eye bags haven't gotten so bad, just so bad. A bitch is gonna go get fillers. I literally hate them. Um, they are my greatest insecurity. One of them, I guess. And really, I just kind of try to go in and conceal what my foundation didn't. So I'm probably gonna just lighten this part and this. And then I dab the concealer up. Honestly, that's pretty good. God, my room is, my room is so hot and I'm drinking this hot coffee. I'm so hot. Next step, I start on my eyeshadow. I've been using this since the end of time and I will continue to do so. I'm pretty sure this is my last makeup video. I just like using it for a lot of like my bases, like my first step of eyeshadow. Smarty Pants is my color. And I really just try to use this all over. Sure. Then I'm going in with this Etude Rose Play Colorized Rose Wine. I got it on Amazon. I found it from the subreddit. I think it's called Asian Beauty, which tells you a lot about skincare, by the way, that I love. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this color. I'm feeling a little peachy today. I'm just gonna do the corners. Honestly, my makeup routine is the same every day. The only thing that I change is really just the colors that I use. But in terms of where I put them and how I apply them, it's the same. So my hair got toned to almost a black. So I feel like I could go in and make my eyes actually a little darker. I'm gonna go in with this brown and just kind of bring it in both corners. And that's really it. Okay, I'm bringing this color down to kind of contour the top of my nose. Just the excess that's on my brush. 
Then I go in with this Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Rose Gold. I just dab some in the corner of both eyes. And I'm gonna really just put this kind of all over actually. It has this really pretty soft shine to it. And it's also very like buildable. Is that the word? You can build, build, I don't know, or you, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. You pick it up what I'm putting down. Pretty. I'm going to put some underneath my eye and for that I am going to use this silicone brush. Just tap a little on. I'm going to just add a little bit of sparkle. So I'm using the same palette, um, this color right here. I'm gonna go in with the brushes that they just give me and I'm going to dab some just color, not a lot, just like a subtle shine, just to add a pop. And then I'm gonna um, do the same with my underneath, underneath my eye. That's really it for, in terms of like my eyeshadow. Um, next step would be my eyeliner, but I have used to, what did I, I just tried to do two sentences at once. So I used to use like a, just like an eyeliner felt pen. Um, and I don't particularly hate it. I just don't love it. I prefer this new way to do my eyeliner. Now I use eyeshadow and I just kind of create that winged shape. But I just think it looks better on me for it not to be so harsh and like completely defined. And so I just use this um, tartlet. You, I already, the thing, this is, what is this called? It is a um, palette. Holy shit. Okay. Anyways, I'm using the color Smoke Show, the, stark, the darkest brown. I'm tapping off the excess and I kind of dab it onto a towel if there's any more. And then I really just, I start to, um, I start with my top and I just start to slowly create this wing shape. Boom, one eye done. Okay, on to the next. Okay. Honestly, this is good enough. This is good enough. I'm just being a perfectionist now. It's fine. Because they are eyeshadow, you know, they're winged eyeshadow, it's, they're allowed to be a little messy. Now I go in with this Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon. And I just put it on my top waterline, just to define it a little more. Then I use my eyelash curler, and my eyelashes are no, by no means very long. You can see, like, they're kind of, so. I just do this technique where I do the base and then I work my way up. Um, I have been using this Wanderlux Volume Rimmel London. I don't know, got it from Amazon. Seems great. I'm actually not too picky about the mascara that I use as long as it doesn't run onto the tops of my eyelids. So you can see there's like a few weird clumps like around here. I actually just take my tweezers and I just remove them. Okay, now for my bottom lashes. I actually like it when my bottom lashes kind of clump a little because I think it makes them pop. All right, next step. I should probably do my eyebrows. I've been using this brow microfilling pen, medium brown. And I've actually been loving it because it's not too like harsh, makes a very natural looking brow. So I try to just use it right here in the corners just to fill in where I lack some color. And then same with the other side. The thing is this pen works for like three seconds and then it kind of loses its pigment because you put it on your eyebrows. So I really only use it in like these corners and then I use this precisely my brow pencil, um, color number four by Benefit and I just kind of start curving the corners. And I just use the brush that came with it to blend that in. Okay. 
that's really it for brows. Simple enough. Sometimes I go in with this 24 hour brow setter. I don't even know if this works. Like I do it, but I don't think my brows are bushy enough. I do it, but I don't really notice too much of a difference. At first I was like, I really like this. And then now I'm like, are you doing anything? I don't know. Now I'm gonna go in my lashes. These are the Ardell Accent 311s. I would show you the case, but they're my last ones because I forgot to order some. And so these are incredibly, these are crusty. All right, I just put this in the corner of my eye. Sorry, you need to be able to see, hold on. Just like that. I'm gonna push it down a little. Suddenly I'm British. All right, I'm going to be removing the glue. Honestly, this is very satisfying. I enjoy doing this every day. Okay, just apply a thin line of glue. Why am I always reverting back to British? I don't mind. So now I actually do use my eyeliner pen and I kind of fill in the corners where the lash, the fake lash meets my real lash. Just so if I ever look down, it's not too noticeable. But I'll never know because I can't really see when I look down, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. Um, I have just bought this, I'm trying out this blush. It's the Tarte Exposed Amazon Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. It's a really long name for a product. I use uh, whatever the heck this kind of brush is called. And I just, I start here and work my way in. And then I go in with bronzer. I got, Nara sent me Claudette color. Huh? I don't know. And then I take the same brush because I don't care. And then I just, on the tip of my nose, because I would like to contour that shit, but I don't know how. I like to think it makes it smaller, but yeah, you know, I'm gonna go in now with oh, my Fenty Beauty Blop Blah Blah Powder. I was about to call this blush. Um, Fenty Beauty, Be Fenty Beauty Pro Filter 120, small brush. Dab, dab, tap, 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 tap. I only really put powder right here underneath my eyes because my fucking eye bags are so ass. My nose to blend in the bronzer right here where my T-zone is. Where it gets a little oily and that's really it. Oh, 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 oh. My highlighter, I tend to forget what I do. So I go in with highlighter, this is the Becca Champagne Pop. I have no technique for this, I just. You think that made my nose look bigger? <laughs> Something I do always do though, is I take just like a little brown brush and I put this in the corners of my eye. Um, I think that's everything. Sometimes I put setting spray if I'm going out, but I don't really know if it makes a difference. I don't really know. Oh, lipstick, duh. This I usually keep in my purse. So I'm grabbing it from my purse. Um, it's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I think it's just like in the medium color or something. I need to sharpen it. I don't know, I play video games, pew pew. Okay. And then I just go in with the pillow top flicks, hep, 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 pillow top lipstick. It smells so good, I could eat it. I'm not a huge fan of matte lipstick, so I take whatever lip gloss is really near me. Right now it is this one, NARS Orgasm. Oil infused lip tint, whatever. Um, and, uh, yep. And that's really the finished look. Let me go get dressed. I'll be back. Okay, I am all dressed. Hi, baby. How was your nap? I would kiss you, but I have lipstick on. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup routine. 
This has been a really requested video like in chat. So I finally have gotten around to it. And I am honestly, I have like this spark of motivation to continue to upload on this channel. I, I it's kind of like, this is my baby. I do love Twitch streaming, but I want to show this side of me. I also, I cannot tell if I should just upload these on my main YouTube channel. Let me know, like, let me know if you guys, would you like to have all of my IRL content separated and post on this channel or should I just put it on the Quarter J channel? Let me know whatever is easiest for you guys and what you think that you want, what you think you want, what does that mean? Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Goodbye everybody. I will see you next time. I gotta go stream now, I'm incredibly late, but now at least I can tell chat, I have an excuse on why I'm late and it was because I'm filming this video. Yes. Goodbye. Say bye, baby. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye.